Alright, um, the old XE police car project update. So, um, yeah, I got my uh, um, kit through. Bushing removal kit has arrived and had a little bit of a play with it today. And uh, yeah, so that's basically the setup they get you to do. Um, these only come in certain sizes, as you can see, they're all they're all pretty big. Um, so when you get the smaller bushings, uh, you just use a socket in its place. So when you use a socket, you just use the thin bar. Um, these have got different size bars, obviously for the bigger bushings to make sure they fit nice and tight. So anyway, so this setup, I just had to use a, so a, a socket um, and then use the one that's in the kit and then these go on each end. So they have little grooves in them like so, uh, little grooves at the back and they just, they just sit into there. So there's videos on this kit anyway. So anyway, look, as I'm just saying, it's a quick spanner, two shifters and ding, 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 and bang, she just pops out. Yeah, zero effort, absolutely zero effort. So um, yeah, so it's really good, good kit. So I'll, I'll get the others done um, and I'll have to get the rear suspension uh, pulled out um, when I get the diff. Diff's apparently going to be finished Friday. All the parts are here, he's just got to do the final little bits and pieces. As always, they struggle with the um, shims. He's having a hell of a time with the shims and every hour it costs another hour of time. Um, money. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm dreading that bill. Um, but anyway, it is what it is. So anyway, that's that's the bushings. Um, so seat rails are all done. I've completely finished those now. So they're all, all smarble, pretty painted. And they're ready to rock and roll. So, um, so they they're gonna be sitting in storage for a while until I get to that part. So the seats have gone. So there's no seats there anymore. So they're off to the trimmer. Um, so you'll. I've sent them off pretty early just in case there's any issues or anything like that and I have to get them sent back to the the guy who actually did the seats um, materials themselves so um, that's what it is so anyway um, so another little toy I've got a little welder when my mate comes over he's gonna give me some welding tips I used to weld years ago but I, I, I can't weld I'm not very good at it so I bought, I bought one of these. These are on super, super special. Um, so I grabbed one. I mean, all that for, for around $200. I mean, God, I'm not going to complain. Um, bargain. So yeah, so I got a welder and I got a bit of a play. Um, he's going to do some training for me, which is awesome. So yeah. So um, the other jobs I've been doing is the seat belts. Um, just been doing all the seat belts, just getting the, the ends of them getting all them cleaned up and prettied and painted and all that so that's all looking good so they'll be all done and dusted and um, ready to rock and roll so just while I've got them I know uh, a couple of people just that there's two types of seat belts on these so they're the rounded long elongated rounded ones and they go into those sort of buckles the longer buckles um, with that with that in there uh, and the other sort is these ones over here. Um, is those ones there. You can see they're completely different design. So there's two sorts. So if you're ordering your seatbelts, just make sure you get the right ones. And they have a slight different buckle as well. Um, so yeah, it's just a shorter, fatter buckle. Oh, I don't have one with me at the moment handy, but anyway, that's what it is. So. Moving on, um, so yeah, so next job, into the suspension. So I'm gonna pull all that stuff apart, um, and big massive cleaner, get it painted, and then put all the new bushings, uh, new um, bits and pieces, the new ball joints, and all that stuff, get all that pre-assembled and ready to rock and roll. So uh, I still gotta wait for the right brake pads, they're still not here yet. Um, I, I ordered normal Ford ones when the PBR brakes on this one um, and on that car. So I don't know, I should have checked. Luckily they weren't expensive. 
So I've got all that stuff ready to rock and roll, so that'll be um, tomorrow, next day's job, probably a couple of days mucking around doing all that, getting all cleaned and painted and all that. Um, so that's okay. Uh, so, yeah, and then moving on, so once I've done that, I've, I've got all the engine bits and pieces all laid out, so this is all the conversion bits, um, power steering lines and fuel lines and all that, because the fuel lines go in a different spot. So you can see on the old crossies, the fuel line goes in behind the strut. The uh, V8 it keeps going along and goes in there. Goes in front. Um, so that then supplies a fuel line down there. So the power steering line's slightly different as well. Um, so yeah, the power steering lines are those two. So they just slightly different spot for the power steering location. Um, and yeah, that's what it is. So that's the fuel line, power steering lines. Obviously transmission cools a little bit different on this one. Um, that's the old one. So I've got a bit different setup. So, and of course it's on the other side being an FMX, it's on the other side. So the, the cooling lines are on the driver side instead of the passengers. So, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so, right, so that'll be my next job, hopefully, towards the end of the week. Um, I'll, I'll give the Crossy one last start, um, say goodbye to her, and uh, dislabel everything and then disconnect it, and uh, rip her out of her little home. Um, and then what I'm going to do is just basically sit the engine mounts in, um, put the fuel lines, power steering lines, all that just sitting in there. Um, and uh, top it up with fluids and just do a temporary setup on the transmission um, with that shifter cable I've got. So I've got to make a little bit of a shifter cable setup for it because I'm converting it to a cable shifter. So I bought one of those. Um, and based on the measurements, it's all good and how far they need to move, it's all good. Um, so practical practice versus theory, me, we'll see. Um, so yeah, so that's sitting there. That I'll just give that a bit of a test. So what I'm gonna do is get the engine tested first, set it in there, get it connected up temporarily, fuel, power steering, just a real rough temporary connect up. Actually, I'm not even gonna connect up power steering. I'm gonna have it in there. Um, and I'm just gonna run the alternator and engine, connect up how to start, and do the very, very, very basics. Um, I'll just use the old exhaust um, to connect into the old headers um, so I'll get that done um, and get the radiator in and get it all make sure that fan that uh, clutch fans the right distance away from the radiator and then I'll fire up the old 351 and just check that number one it starts and then number two that uh, it hasn't got it's got oil pressure and all that good stuff and um, make sure that there's no leaks because it's got a full gasket get through it all, all brand new gaskets um so that's all been done so i'm just going to run it just for five minutes and then just leave it sit overnight and then make sure there's see if there's any bloody leaks so then i'll rip it back out again yay so i'll chuck the v8 instrument chuck the v8 one in there just to make sure that all works and make sure all the electrics work before i start muck, muck around with the dash stuff so i'll get that sitting in there and then i'll uh, rip all that back out and then i'll get that engine bay tidied up painted brake booster in all that stuff um get it all done and dusted so yeah at least then i'll know the engine's good i know it's not got no hasn't got any leaks and it's good to go so after that into the dash and get all that done aircon all that so anyway so i'm on i'm on holidays for three weeks and this is my holidays working on a car so because i've already had a holiday this year so i don't really want to travel again because it's too damn expensive um so that's where i'm at so a couple of things i'm, I'm not sure where that springs off it was part of the seat gear no idea where that's from someone knows it'd be great if you could tell me the other thing i don't know is this damn thing i don't know where the hell this is off the bumper 
I never took the bumper off, so that may be something to do with the bumper. That's solid steel. If someone knows where that's from, that'd be awesome. And one more thing. Sorry, 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 sorry. Is this thing. Um, so it's got this padded stuff on the end and two obviously screw mounts. So I, I don't know what that's off. That was in the box that was in the car so it could have something to do with the seat belts or something that the guy took out when he uh, did the sides on the car um so yeah if someone could give us a prompt that'd be awesome what those three things are and where they are that'd be amazing anyway so yeah big week three weeks of working on the car ahead of me so oh, i'm hoping to get some super progress really really good progress on it so suspension diff engine aircon that's my mission for the next three weeks and then hopefully after that all i'll have is body 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 work to do after that i'll get all the underbody spray done in the next few weeks once all the suspension's out and the diff's out again um it'll look it's all good um so then that'll be leaving me with just all the body work which is going to be a a fair whack of work on its own as well um, got the boot to fix up got those few bits on the roof to fix got to pull the rear wind rear window out um, got to repaint the engine bay and then reinstall the engine and make it all pretty and then uh, yeah then body work um, and then off to the painters after that so yeah anyway it's good progress is progress Anyway, at least I've got three weeks. I'm very happy with that. No worries. Um, thank you very much. And I'll update as I go for the next three weeks. So there'll be plenty of videos coming. Cheerio.